streets of Cebu to Tokyo. Marjolin Didal might just be the first Filipino skateboarder to enter the Olympics. After placing 17th, she now advanced to the semifinals of the World Street Skateboarding Championships in Rome, Italy. Landing in the top three will guarantee her an Olympic spot. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, Marjolin and her team make the most out of the remaining competitions to train and ride alongside the world's best skaters. Kailangan talaga maka-experience ng iba't ibang skate park or iba't ibang lugar kasi just to like to see kung gaano ako comfortable ako or like gumawa ng tricks sa iba't ibang lugar. With skateboarding's newfound popularity as a sport, Marjolin is already paving the way for other skateboarders. In her young career, she has already bagged an Asian Games gold medal in 2018 and two golds in the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. With this, Marjolin has been featured on the Olympic Channel to share her skateboarding journey. Parang di mo na expect na ma feature in skateboarding sa Olympic and gonna be in the Olympic. Uh, I'm really honored na to share my story to the Olympic Channel. It's like a lifestyle, like just skateboarding. And now, like, it's so big. Uh, even in Philippines, it's so big in the skate scene. Currently ranked 13th in the world, Didal's game plan is to stay with the pack and remain in the top 20 world rankings. What's our game plan? Natin? Game plan? Oh. Um, just enjoy skating and stay positive. <laughs> But it's not just the Olympic dream for Marjolin. She hopes to create better and safer spaces for all skateboarders in the country. My dream for skateboarding culture, probably public skate park for all the skaters. Also probably do a skate clinic so it can share like how to, uh, to ride a skateboard. Not for just like, young generation also for like yung mga hindi na pag try thank you mvp we couldn't be here without your support thank you so much yep. gretchen hall we are one news